Now to the teen who's drawing attention to an African elephant held in difficult conditions at an Indian zoo and her tireless efforts to relocate Shunker the elephant back to Africa. Her online petition is gaining steam and now Indian courts are getting involved. ABC's James Longman has a story. I had gone to visit Shunker and when I saw him, my heart broke. For 16-year-old Nikita Dawan, seeing Shunker, the 26-year-old African elephant at the National Zoological Park in New Delhi, was a troubling experience. He had no auditory or visual communication with the other elephants. He lacked intellectual stimulation or physical enrichment. There was a railway line like right next to him and there were children screaming. Nikita noticed Shunker appeared to be in distress. He seemed to be making repetitive movements like swaying and head bobbing. And she says when she saw how the children around her were reacting, she decided to do something. They thought that he was dancing out of happiness when, you know, it was the exact opposite. Nikita, who months before seeing Shunker had co-founded the Youth for Animals Advocacy Group, launched a change.org petition to move Shunker from the zoo to a wildlife refuge or sanctuary with larger numbers of African elephants. The petition now has over 150,000 signatures and counting. She also tried to appeal directly to the zoo and other officials. We had sent the first letter to the zoo itself and we waited around like for a few weeks. We didn't hear anything. And then we sent it to the prime minister's office and the Ministry of Environment. Again, we didn't hear anything. Nikita then filed a legal petition in December. That petition listed the zoo itself, along with a number of animal and environmental departments in India. None of those respondents replied to ABC News' request for comment. Shunka was one of two African elephants brought to the National Zoological Park in 1998 as a diplomatic gift from Zimbabwe to India. Shunka's companion, Bombay, died in 2005. Nikita's Change.org petition states that since he arrived all those years ago, Shunker has lived in solitary confinement and he's chained for 17 hours of the day and does not have adequate space to move around when he's let out. Zoo director Sonali Ghosh told the Indian Express in November that the zoo has reached out to officials in Africa about finding a mate for Shunker or even taking him back. Ghosh also saying that veterinarians have examined Shunker and haven't found that he's been affected by stress. Even though zoo officials haven't responded to her, Nikita hasn't been dissuaded. She wants to help other elephants being held in captivity as well. The main goal of this campaign is not just about Shunker or one elephant. It's trying to open doors for all captive elephants. The International Union for Conservation of Nature lists African forest elephants as critically endangered and African savanna elephants as endangered. While there were an estimated 10 million wild elephants throughout Africa in 1930, today that number is around only 415,000. Their numbers decimated by poaching, habitat loss and conflict with humans. In 2009, India's Central Zoo Authority banned zoos from exhibiting elephants, saying most of them don't have adequate space to permit free movement of elephants and that they are kept chained for long hours, causing stress to the animal. But there are still many elephants in zoos across India, including two Asian elephants at Shunka's Zoo. In India, I feel like we're always praising elephants as these sort of symbols, but our words not words do not reflect our actions. And the fight for Shunka is not over. A judge in the High Court of Delhi told respondents in January to consider Nikita's arguments regarding Shunka's fate, with the next hearing scheduled for March 9. Nikita says her campaign has the backing of the UK-based Aspinall Foundation, which has agreed to fund and facilitate the elephant's translocation and rewilding. Ultimately, she hopes Shunka can be with other African elephants, preferably in Africa. And while we do agree that a domestic option would be a really good temporary solution for Shankar, it doesn't solve the problem of his solitary confinement. There's a misconception that male African elephants do, don't form social bonds, but that's not true. They are, you know, social beings just like us, and Shankar deserves to be with other African elephants. And we'll keep you updated on Shankar. Our thanks to James for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.